The written pattern for this crochet sloth is also available on Ribbler and on Etsy. The link for the written pattern will be in the description of this video. What you will need for this pattern is a 4.5 millimeter hook. I'm using my furls hook for this today. You will need a pair of scissors, a darning needle, Twelve millimeter safety eyes, cream or white colored yarn, a gray or brown colored yarn for the body, a little bit of a darker brown for the eye spots, and some black yarn for sewing on the nose and mouth. You also will need stuffing to stuff your project. So first we are going to start out with making the head. We're going to use that cream or white yarn to make a magic ring. Go ahead and chain one and then put six single crochet into the magic ring. So you can see here we have one, two, three, four, five, six single crochet in that magic ring. And then we're just going to pull tight and start on our next round. For this next round we are going to put two single crochet in every single stitch. So at the end you will have 12 single crochet in total. So once you have 12 single crochet, we will start on the third round, which will be one single crochet and then one single crochet increase. Repeat that around until you have 18 single crochet stitches. Once you have your 18 stitches, we are going to start on the next round, which will be two single crochet stitches followed by a single crochet increase around. At the end, you will have 24 single crochet stitches. For our last stitch, we are going to do the color change. And so what you do is you draw up a loop and then grab the color that you are changing to. And so that will be the gray brown. And then you're gonna pull that color through the two loops to finish the stitch. And then you are going to continue working in that brown color. The next round we are gonna do three single crochet followed by a single crochet increase around and that will give us 30 single crochet stitches. So I forgot to show the end of this round, but once you have 30 stitches, we are going to continue on to the next round, which will be four single crochet followed by a single crochet increase around, which will give you 36 single crochet in total. Mm -hmm. 
Once you have completed that round and have 36 single crochet stitches, we are going to move on to the next six rounds, which will simply be just single crocheting around. So do that for six rounds and then we'll meet back. Once you've counted six rounds of straight single crochet, we are going to start on closing up the head. So for this round, we're going to do four single crochet followed by a single crochet decrease around. At the end of the round, you should have 30 single crochet in total. For the next round, you're going to follow a pattern of three single crochet followed by a single crochet decrease around for a total of 24 single crochet. For the next round, we're going to follow a pattern of doing two single crochet followed by a single crochet decrease around for a total of 18 single crochet. Once you are finished this round, grab that stuffing that you have and begin to stuff the head to your desired firmness. For this next round, we are going to follow a pattern of doing one single crochet followed by a single crochet decrease around for a total of 12 single crochet. For the final round, we are going to do six single crochet decrease, do a slip stitch, and then tie off to finish the head. So go ahead and grab that dark brown yarn and we are going to go ahead and make the eye spots for the sloth. We are going to start by chaining 7. Starting in the second chain from the hook, we are going to do five half double crochets. In the last chain, we are going to do three half double crochet. So now you can see I'm going to start working in the other side of the chain. So we have our first side of the chain and then I'm pointing at the other side, the opposite side. We're going to do five half double crochet in there as well. And finally, in the last chain, do two half double crochet, slip stitch, and tie off. When you cut your yarn, be sure to leave a long tail for sewing onto the face later. Create two eye spots in total.
You are now going to attach your 12 millimeter safety eyes to the eye spots. So go ahead and grab those safety eyes and then put them in the spot where there are three half double crochet stitches as shown. Then secure the safety eyes with the backings. So here I am just showing you what it will look like once we assemble everything together. Um, I put the eye spots at an angle downwards, but you can put them however you like. And I also made sure to cover up the color change. We are now going to work on the body using that second color from the head, that brownish gray color. So first we are going to start with a magic ring and put six single crochet into it. So once you have six single crochet in that magic circle or ring, go ahead and pull the end of the yarn to pull it tight and we'll get started on the second round. For the second round, we're going to do two single crochet or a single crochet increase in every single stitch. At the end, you'll have 12 single crochet in total. Once you have 12 crochet stitches, we are going to move on to the third round, which will be one single crochet followed by a single crochet increase around. That will give you a total of 18 stitches. For this next round, we are gonna follow a pattern of two single crochet followed by a single crochet increase around for a total of 24 stitches. Once you have 24 stitches, we're gonna work on the next round, which will be following a pattern of three single crochet followed by one single crochet increase around for a total of 30 single crochet stitches. Once you have 30 stitches, we are going to start on the next round, which will follow a pattern of four single crochet followed by one single crochet increase around for a total of 36 single crochet. Now that you have 36 single crochet stitches, we are going to do six full rounds of just single crocheting around. So no increases, no decreases for six rounds. Once you have six rounds of straight single crochet, we're going to go ahead and get started on the decreasing. For this next round, we're going to follow a pattern of doing four single crochet stitches followed by one single crochet decrease for a total of 30 stitches. Once you have finished that round and have 30 stitches, for the next two rounds, we are going to do single crocheting round without any increases or decreases. Mm -hmm. 
So once you have two rounds of straight single crochet, we are going to move on to the next round, which will follow a pattern of three single crochet and one single crochet decrease around, and that'll give you a total of 24 stitches. Once you have completed that round and have 24 stitches, we are going to complete one round of straight single crochet stitches around for 24 single crochet. Once you have completed 24 single crochet stitches, we're going to move on to the next round, which will follow a pattern of two single crochet followed by one single crochet decrease around and you'll have a total of 18 stitches. Once you have completed that round, we are going to do a final round of just 18 single crochet stitches around, so no increasing or decreasing. And then at the end, you are going to do a slip stitch and tie off and leave a long tail for sewing. So here you can see I'm leaving a long tail so I can sew it to the head, but I also stuffed it off camera, so at this point feel free to stuff the body. We are now going to start making the arms and legs. So with your white yarn, go ahead and make a magic circle or ring and put six single crochet into that. Go ahead and pull that magic circle closed and then we are going to work on the second round and that'll be putting two single crochet in every stitch for a total of 12 single crochet. Once you have 12 single crochet stitches, we're going to work on the next round, which will follow a pattern of one single crochet stitch followed by one single crochet increase around for a total of 18 single crochet. Once you have 18 stitches, we are going to complete just simple single crochet all the way around for round four, and that'll give you a total of 18 single crochet. So once you have that round of single crochet completed, we're going to work on the round that makes the little bumps for the toes and fingers. So first we are going to complete three single crochet stitches. So now what we're going to do is do a bobble stitch. So yarn over, put your hook in and draw up a loop, yarn over and go through two loops on the hook, and then repeat that three more times so you have five loops in total on the hook. So once you have those five loops on your hook, we are going to yarn over and go through all five. And then the next stitch, we are going to do one single crochet. So do that one single crochet, and then we're going to do another bobble stitch. So 
So finish up that bobble stitch and then follow it by a single crochet stitch. And you can see how it's forming little bumps for the fingers and the toes. And then complete one more bobble stitch. So go ahead and close up that bobble stitch and then complete 10 single crochet to finish the round. Once you have completed those 10 single crochet stitches, we're going to work on the next round, which will just be single crocheting around for 18 stitches. Once you've completed 18 single crochet, we're going to work on the next round, which will follow a pattern of one single crochet and one single crochet decrease around. At the end, you should have 12 stitches in total. In the very last stitch, don't finish it because we're going to change colors to the color of the main body. So go ahead and grab that gray or brown. And then use that to finish your final stitch. In that gray brown color, we are going to complete 10 rounds of just single crocheting around for 12 stitches each round. So no increasing or decreasing, just single crochet around and then we'll meet back once you have 10 rounds completed. So at this point you should have 10 rounds completed. So we are going to work on closing up the arm or leg. So first do two single crochet stitches and then go ahead and stuff your arm or leg. So now that it is stuffed, we are going to go ahead and work on closing it up. So fold it in half as you can see I'm doing and then what we're going to do is slip stitch through both the front and back single crochet to close it up. So there I go through both, pull my yarn through and pull through that loop to create a slip stitch. So just complete that all the way down. Then chain one and cut your yarn, leaving a long tail for sewing it onto the body. Go ahead and make three more arms and legs so that way you have four in total. Here I'm showing you how we are going to put the arm on the body, that way it hangs on the side. So now that you have all four arms and legs, we're going to get started on the assembly. So first go ahead and grab the head of the sloth and go and close up the back if you haven't already. So once the head is all closed up, we are going to sew on the eyes and the spots. So here I'm showing where the color changes so you can see that I'm going to cover it with the eye spot. That way it's not showing on the front of the face. Go ahead and grab both eye spots and put them into place. I used the back or the pointy part of the safety eye and shoved it in between stitches of the cream part of the face. So 
So as you can see, I'm using large plastic needles to hold the spots in place so I can sew them on. So go ahead and grab that darning needle and sew on the eye spots to the head. Go ahead and grab your black yarn and begin to sew on the nose by creating a straight line and bringing the yarn through and then sewing on a straight line several times to create a nose. So what I do to finish off any facial features is I will tie a knot like you can see I'm doing and do that twice and then you should be able to cut your yarn and hide that knot inside the head. So here you can see I'm cutting my yarn and then I'm going to use the end of a needle to push it inside the head. So grab that black yarn again and now you can sew on a smile. Once that is finished, go ahead and grab the body and then I am securing it into place using those plastic needles again. That way it stays on while I'm sewing the head to the body. Go ahead and grab your needle and using the long tail you left when you cut the yarn from the body, go ahead and sew the body to the head. So once you are done sewing the body to the head, we are going to sew the arms on to the body. So go ahead and grab those arms and I am going to use those plastic needles again to hold them into place while I am sewing them on. So you can see I'm laying them flat down on the body and then putting the needle to hold it in place. So once you have those in the position that you like, go ahead and sew them on and we will meet back. So now that the arms are sewn on, we are going to go ahead and sew on the legs. So grab one of the legs and you'll see that I'm going to pin it so the feet are facing forward. Go ahead and sew those on and we will meet back. So I did want to show you if you sew only at the seam, the leg is going to kind of fly open and not face forward. So what I did was put my needle a few stitches up and then sew the leg farther up to the body. That way it stayed facing forward. So 
So once everything is sewn on, you are finished and you have yourself an adorable little crochet sloth. I really love the little toe and finger detail and just how cute this little guy is. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, feel free to leave a like or subscribe and follow me on my other social media.